Here we have one of these little LED drivers. These are designed for driving like LED strips, that sort of thing. And this one is a 6 watt driver. It says it's got 12 volts out at uh, 500 milliamps. Output power, like I say, 6 watts. Um, input voltage is 170 to 260, 50, 60 hertz. So I thought we'd have a look inside this little one. Now it's um, it had high I had high hopes for it when I first uh, had a quick look inside because it has actually got a transformer in it. So I'm guessing it's a I think it's might be a little switch mode um, supply. It's certain it says on the thing uh, it's constant voltage, which is not ideal for driving LEDs, you really want a constant current driver so yeah, I don't know why they've uh, done constant voltage so this is the board inside now we've got here uh, incoming supply here, live and neutral, this is our outgoing supply as you can see we've got a transformer here capacitors what's that? KN SCHA no idea, obviously cheap, I mean the device is cheap, so cheap capacitors yep, so we've got this little bit of uh, plastic here which has basically just been shoved in to stop any of the legs of the uh, capacitors here touching with the resistors and there's a diode there and another capacitor there so move those out of the way got a little chip in down there, Let's see if we can see what that chip is uh, HF1D1 uh, got DL0165R. I'm guessing that's a uh, switch mode driver for this unit. Now, nicely, like I say, high hopes because we've got a transformer. Don't know what the separation is like in between the windings, but we've got a transformer there. We've got a opto isolator there, which is a good start. And on the bottom, you can see we've got the mains comes in. We've got a isolation slot there. Uh, neutrals this side, lives that side. We've got another isolation slot cut out there. Although this resistor is it's not perfectly mounted, so it's covering up a bit of the slot there, it's not ideal. And we got another isolation slot here. And as you can see, there's completely bare board in between. So the gap's quite good there. I'm quite impressed with that. And like I say, we got the Opto isolator coupling over. This is obviously the primary side of the transformer and the secondary side over here. But we've also got this device here. Now this is actually bridged right over between the two. Now I'll see if I can see what that uh, says on it. So looking uh, closer at that device, it seems to be marked HEL22M. I thought it was a W at first, sorry, 222M. Uh, it could be HFL, but HEL222M kind of doesn't really bring up much, but brings up in line with being a uh, capacitor, ceramic capacitor. So that may well be what it is. So all in all, it seems relatively okay. We've got a transformer there. We've got an optocoupler there for the feedback signals. But the problem being, although we've got great isolation here, but because we've got this device here, probably a capacitor, we're actually still coupled over to mains which means although you've got 12 volts on the output you will get 12 you will get nearly 240 volts in the UK between your live on output and your neutral on the input or earth so let me uh, hook this up and I'll demonstrate that okay so I've got it connected up oh, terminal block there to the mains and always remember when connecting up stuff to be careful and to not go touching the board when it's connected as I just did. Now if we measure the output here, volts DC, so between there and there, as you can see there, 12.171 volts, so that's fine. If we leave our positive connected here, and then we will go over to here and probe our neutral connection coming in there. There we have 205.8 volts AC. Check it between live. 38 there. 
let's do the same again on the neutral neutral to neutral there we are 205.8 and between neutral and AC there live coming in 40 volts there now this is a problem because if I touch connect up to the live there and connect it to the earth here you will see we get the same result actually 212 now the way the earthing system works your neutral and your earth are potentially uh, they're effectively combined either at the transformer or at your home depending on the earthing system you have and obviously uh, the earthing system you have to depends on where you live and the uh, country you live in but the most common in the UK would be uh, TNCS so you've got a uh, combined uh, neutral and uh, far combined as the cable comes into your property and then it splits out from there now what this means of course with these transformers if you say have like uh, one of those LED strips wired up and you can get the ones with the uh, waterproof coating and the ones without the waterproof coating if you got one without the waterproof coating and you'll say you got that stuck up somewhere and you just happen to be touching the LED strip so you're making contact with the supply there well that's not too bad if you're only going to get 12 volts it's not going to really do anything but if you then happen to be touching something else that is earthed so say you've got the LED strip up in your kitchen and for some reason you touch the LED strip at the same time as touching uh, the kitchen tap or sink uh, sink metal then that's going to be earthed and you are going to get a shock I have actually uh, accidentally done it <laughs> between the, because uh, I chopped the earth off there and I didn't realise I was touching that at the same time as touching the live it only takes uh, a couple milliamps to uh, to kill you so really do need to be careful with these so that's the thing to bear in mind with these LED drivers and it does seem to be the same case for some of the bigger ones you get off uh, eBay as well um, designed to drive like 5 meter strips they do seem to have the same issue that they are potentially reference to mains and so should always just be aware um, not to be touching any kind of metal objects and that's going to likely to to earth you properly at the same time as touching the strip or anything like that so I hope you found that video of some use and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so